Hello guys, welcome back. This is your friend Kalis Kane with my green babies. I hope you are doing well and thank you for supporting my channel. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe now and click that bell button for notifications of my new uploads. And don't forget to give me a thumbs up and leave a comment and share to your friends and families. Hi guys, welcome back. This is Kalis Kane. And dito tayo ngayon sa harap ng aking munting tahanan. We are outside today. And today is March 27th. March is almost over and it's already officially springtime. So guys, samahan niyo ako because today we are going to make some container gardens. So samahan niyo ako guys and hopefully we're gonna have some fun. Alright guys, let's go and have fun. First off, my front porch is very shady and the roots of this huge holly tree made it impossible to plant in the ground. Kaya gumagamit ako ng malalaking containers sa pagtatanim. Big containers are expensive, especially ceramics and clay pots. So I use this plastic because they are a lot cheaper. Most plastics have no holes in it, so we are going to drill a hole at the bottom using my electric soldering iron tool. Then, gagamit tayo ng mga empty plastic bottles to fill up the container until halfway through to save space at para makasave na rin ng mga potting soil. Another recyclable materials to use are the shredded paper. This will act as a perlite and eventually becomes a fertilizer. Mix it well with the potting mix. Last spring, I also did a vlog about using recyclable materials just like what we use today. I will share it with you at the end of this video. So ito na guys, we're ready to plant and these are the plants that I picked for this planter. This is a fire tail channel. It is a very hardy plant and it requires full sun, partial or shade. So it is perfect for our location. This is helichrysum. First time ko magtanim ng ganito, so let's see how it is. I found them in the shade friendly plants, so I grabbed it. One thing I learned when I searched for this plant is that it contains essential oil that can heal wounds. Interesting. We also have potos. We all know that this plant can thrive in all sorts of soil condition and great for shades. Tataniman din natin guys ng ZZ plant to add height and then additional fern to get more lush and full and also we have Syngonians. Syngonians is another versatile plant just like the photos and of course guys our snake plant that is going to create a vertical effect for our arrangement. Alright, there you go guys. Yan lahat ang ating mga itatanim dito sa ating container na to. Jaran! There you go. So pretty! After two weeks guys, this will look even better. All right, next planter. And itong dalawang planter na to guys ay tataniman din natin. So let's go do it. Okay guys, so pipili tayo ng mga plants na itatanim natin dun sa planter. 
So, itong cordyline or dresina. Hindi pala cordyline ito. This is dresina. Yan ang isang choice natin. Oh, tingnan nyo guys. Sobrang tagal na to guys. So, I feel so bad. I'm so sorry for this plant. Dapat na i-transplant ko na yan siya. Long time ago. So, anyhow, um, we already got our dresina. And then, probably this one. It's a brown cover. Trailing yan. So, here we are going to choose this plant. I forgot the name of this. Nakalimutan ko na ang pangalan nito, guys. Tingnan niya, guys. Sobrang laki na niya. Sobrang haba na niya. I just got it before, like, hanggang dito. But, I just, I'm just being a bad mama. And this one also, the tiger plant. Na sobrang laki na rin. Okay. Dito din natin siya itatanim. Actually, ikakat ko itong part na to. And, I can make another plant out of it. This one here, we're gonna cut it from here and then plant it. So, bali parang propagation na rin. <laughs> At the same time. So, ito naman guys, ang ating Creeping Jenny. They like part sun. This is annual. But, ita try ko lang siya guys na itanim dito. Hindi naman siya ano. Shady siya but it's not really... It's bright, so hopefully, hopefully, this one will thrive here. And, and, dadagdagan natin siya ng mga bigonia. Ah, I love bigonias, guys. Dagyan natin ng bigonia para mayroon siyang color. And what else? Dito tayo. Hanap tayo dito. Excuse the color. Okay, another bigonias. Ayan, yung bigonia din. Ito sa, dito din siya. Para colorful ang ating planter, guys. You see this planter, guys? Ayan, there are three kinds of actually four kinds of bigonia yung nilagay ko dito noon but this one here medyo nasira siya sa cross so we have another kind and this one so what i'm gonna do guys is tatanggalan ko yung mga uh, well i'm going to remove some of this small plants here yung anak anak niya so tatanggalin ko yan puputulin ko and then, itatanim doon natin. Itatanim natin doon sa ating bagong container. Same thing din dito. And this one also, since since mahaba na siya, mahaba na yung stems niya, it is better na ipupruning natin. Okay? Ipruning natin siya para magiging bushy ulit siya. Maging lush. So, tutubo yung mga bagong stems. Magiging beautiful ulit. <laughs> anyway, guys. Let's get going. Oh! There's another one that I want to replant. Here, this one. Ang ating Xanadu. Oh no, excuse me. This is not Xanadu. Oh, this is Zanadu. I thought it is. I thought it is a deja vu, but it is a Zanadu. 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 Okay. All right, tingnan na natin. Let's arrange kung okay na ba. So, yan. Yan ang mga plants na ilalagay natin. And this one, yun din. So, let's start planting. Start planting. Oh, huh. 
guys. Isa din yan. Ang aking knees. My, my knees are so fragile. <laughs> Ang dami kong mga ano dyan guys, mga injury. Sinusuportahan ko yung mga knee joints ko para hindi siya mag-lock. Para makapaglaro tayo guys. Okay. Let's do the trick. In my arrangements, I mix colors to make it more attractive and stunning. Meron din tayong effect ng leveling of height, tall plants, medium, and trailing plants. I added space for each plant to give them room once they get bushy. Another thing to keep in mind na dapat yung mga plants natin, pare-pareho sila ng water requirements. Kung kailangan ba nila ang constant moisture, at kung kailangan bang totally dry muna bago mag-watering ulit. Also, see the sunlight requirement ng plant. Since shady ang area natin, I made sure na okay sila sa part sun or sa shady spots. Let's talk about watering and fertilization. Shout out to Liza Long for her question in my last vlog. I normally fertilize every two weeks and I use Miracle Grow Soluble Fertilizer. There are times I forget, so I fertilize them as soon as I remember. Ayan guys, sana ay meron na naman kayong natutunan sa ibinahagi kong video. Huwag kalimutang mag-subscribe with Kalimbang All para lagi kayong updated sa aking new uploads. Mag-comment at i-share sa mga kaibigan at kapamilya. Kita-kita tayo ulit sa susunod kong video. This is Kalis Kane. Bye-bye!